Welcome guys to our team call for Tuesday, January 31st. So we've got some big news to announce tonight and we have a fabulous guest speaker. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want to tell you guys is to mark your calendars for those of you that are local in the tri-state area for March 11th because we will be taking you to a paint night. So for those of you that qualify for Success Club in February, you can come hang out with us for a paint night on March 11th. So put that in your calendar. It's gonna be after 5 p.m. Uh, we still have to confirm it with the place, but hit Success Club and be there. And that won't be that hard for you guys because it's Team Cup month. So we know that you guys are gonna be rocking it starting tomorrow, bringing in people, helping challengers, bringing in coaches, upgrading your, your existing challengers to coaches. And okay, I don't know if you guys have checked the calendar on Luminous Nation, the cover photo, but on February 9th, we're doing a coach op. Ideally, you want to invite your challengers to this. Remember, we have the vital process going on. So, it, you know, if you have someone that you've been talking to about becoming a coach and they want more info, cool, invite them. But what we really want you to do is focus on inviting your challengers to this. So post this invite. Darlene is going to create it post an invite into your challenge group. So that's February 9th at 9 p.m. <clears throat> and we're going to be doing it monthly from now on. Um, you can always look to the Luminous Nation cover photo for the, those details. But also on February 16th, guys, we are going to do from now on a new coach call. It's similar to a GSR, but it's going to be just like the basics, like your back office, what Success Club is, like those basics of coaching and how to get started. So that's going to be once a month, every month. And the first one is February 16th. I'm going to lead that. And now the big news before I hand it in over to Imani is that you guys saw us all hanging out in DR, right? A couple of weeks ago. And I asked you guys, if what would it take for you guys to be there, right? How hard would you work your business? Now, we're excited to announce that we are bringing all of you three levels down from me. So that means my child, my grandchild, and my great-grandchild. And looking at everyone here, you mostly all qualify for that. Now, here's how it's going to work. Starting in February through the end of the year, in order to qualify to attend this retreat, all expenses paid except your flight. You guys just have to fly yourselves out to DR. But everything else will be on your, your sponsoring coach. So you have to hit Success Club every month starting now in February. And you have to be a diamond coach. You have to hold it for at least six weeks by the end of the year. Darlene is going to take it away with the specifics. Hi, everyone. Okay, so as you know, what well, we're actually in the process of working just to make sure that it's clear and everybody understands exactly what the qualifications are, when is the retreat and how it's happening. We're putting together um, an FAQ of qualification rules and everything involved with the 2018 leadership retreat. So, you know, there's, of course, you're going to see you have to be three levels down from Audrey. And then it's going to talk about, you know, how many, by when do you need your points? So just to give you a little sneak peek, Hit Success Club, you need to have, it kind of works like um, the Success Club trip that um, Beachbody does. So this one is you have to have a minimum of 15 Success Club points, but a maximum of, you know, let's say 20. And then you have to be a leader by November 23rd and everything revolves around our qualifications and based on the ca calendar that Beachbody threw out for 2017. So we're going to give more information. We're actually um, finalizing the FAQ document. If you have any questions or you're wondering, you know, well, what happens if, you know, we have one-offs, please make sure that you either ask or write it on Luminous Nation because I'm pretty sure if you have the question, somebody else has the same question. But yeah, you have like, you know, questions like what's included, is transportation included and things like that. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna push together and, you know, get there. Who's going? I'm going. I'm going again. <laughs> 
Awesome. Now, time to hand it over to Diamond Coach Imani Busby. Imani has been a coach for about two years now, right, Imani? She started off as a challenger. She did Pio, and then she did Insanity Max 30. And that's when she really just transformed into a completely different person. From the moment Imani signed up as a coach, she's been hitting Success Club. She's extremely successful in her business because she never gives up. Now, she's a full-time student. She works. She does it all, and she still manages to run her business. And, uh, you know, shout out to her success partner, Jake, who always keeps her on her toes. But being that she's so young, of course, Imani's so good at social media. And she's going to be talking to us tonight about Instagram and her strategies for building her audience through Instagram. Imani, take it away. Hey, okay. I'm excited. I hope that everyone has some type of notes because I know that we're all trying to hit success club. We all want those numbers. So this call is meant to be very concise, very to the point. I love steps and I love to break it down. So that's how we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And I'm going to present. Okay. Can you guys see this? Okay. Can you see it, Audrey? I can see your face. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So. Named it Luminous Nation, loves Instagram because we're about to fall in love with this platform. It's amazing. So I'm going to tell you right now, the first thing, why Instagram? So for me, number one reason is Instagram is going to give you, oops, sorry, give you new people to talk to. This platform is, as you can tell, different than Facebook. It's less personal. And for that reason, you have a wider array of people that you can talk to and connect with. Um, it's also a lot of fun because you can get creative with Instagram. I'm not the most creative person, but rather than just throwing up a picture and your friends commenting on it and liking it, with Instagram, you can show your scenery and really an aesthetic feature is huge with Instagram. You want everything to look pretty. So, I mean, I know for some people that's like a turn off, but I'm going to show you why that's a lot of fun. Um, okay, so moving on. The first thing with Instagram, you, what you want to do is you want to post, obviously. So I basically screenshotted from my computer some of the people that I follow. One is a Beachbody coach. Uh, one is actually a friend of Jake's who I saw her page and I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. And then I showed mine. And I want to show you guys that it doesn't have to look like the beautiful Instagrams that you see. But at the same time, you do want to copy. And it's OK to copy off of people that are not necessarily coaches. Um, Sorry, guys. Perfect. Myself. Okay. Okay. We're back. So you do want to make them pretty. You do want to copy off of some coaches, but then again, you want to copy off of people who are not coaches because this is the people, the people who are taking Instagram by storm. So, um, for example, this grid feature that Instagram has is really your chance to show who you are, what you're about. You have 12 photos in that grid that people are going to see the minute they click on your profile. So it's important to kind of get a mix in there. You want to show some selfies. You want to show a little bit of your life. Um, in mine, I have a transformation picture. You want to show everything so that when people go there, they know what you're about. Um, and then just like all the other platforms, video is still king. You want to make sure that you're sharing videos, with whatever they are. Today, I showed a video of like me cooking uh, turkey meat in a, in a pan. And it was like a quick boomerang video, but, and boomerang is just like uh, a short little clip of a video that Instagram has, but it doesn't matter. I've posted videos of me like speaking or me doing a workout. You want to make sure that you're still incorporating video with Instagram. Let's see if I had any other notes. 
Um, and then as far as posting, I follow the Josh Coates way of posting. I do this at, hmm, when did I do Art of, I did Art of Recruiting a couple months ago. And ever since then, I've been doing the same posting schedule. So every Sunday, every Tuesday, and every Thursday, I post a transformation picture. I try to mix it up and I make some of myself. I make some of you guys on our team who have amazing transformations. And it gets eyes on your pictures and it gives you a chance to do a call to action, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So kind of the nitty gritty of your Instagram profile is your about you is pretty important. I know with mine, I'll go back to these pictures. I have things that don't have to do with Beachbody in there because that's important too. People want to know who you are. So I have that I'm a speech student at NYU. I put that I'm a, a virtual health and fitness coach. And then I added that my journey is from fearless to fit because I talk about that all the time. So you want to add some things in there. Um, some people put like their rank and things like that. I don't think that's the most important thing to put. I think you should share some more about you rather than beach body stuff. And then you also want to put um, in the, if you look here, I know it's hard to see, there's some websites. And if you go on your Instagram, there's a spot where you can put a website. I have been strategically using that spot to add an application. And I've had people reach out to me for the first time in a really long time um, just by filling that out. It's super easy. I made it on Google Forms. So it wasn't um, hard to make. Anyone can make one. And that's like a whole other story. But you do want to add some type of website in that portion there. So you can either make a Google form and turn it into a tiny URL. Um, a tiny URL is where you're breaking down that long website and making it something short. So I turned mine into tinyurl.com forward slash workout with Imani. I know Jake has something very similar, um, and so does Jazz. So whatever you want to use, you can make it your own. But that website portion, you either want to have an app for your challenge group or a free group, or you can put in, like, your Facebook profile so that people can go back to that. But I strongly encourage an application. Okay, so to get into hashtags, I know a lot of us had questions about this. Um, last time in our last call, you want to utilize hashtags. Number one is because people will find you that way. Um, you, if you make them very relevant to your life, you'll find people that already are in your niche and you don't even have to like go out and do anything. So you get 30 spaces for your hashtags. And I like to make mine non beach body related again, like instead of saying something like, uh, student i'll say fit student or in, instead of saying like girl or whatever i'll put girl or i use things like grad school problems and little like catchy things that i know that people who i want on my team would use and i've had people that have said like i found you because i was looking for stuff for clinic and you just like popped up so if you use these strategically and you get really specific with your hashtags um they work amazingly. Okay, moving on. And I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, um, but I don't know, you guys should get it. You guys get that part. So I'm gonna get into my, my, my way that I bring people from Instagram to Facebook. And this is where you wanna take some notes. So after you post, you did your call to actions, right? Everyone does them. Let's just say you did them like me, you did them on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. You want to go ahead and um, start following some people and bring some eyes to your page. So let's just say you find someone that you really, really uh, vibe with. Like for me, there's some YouTubers that I love, and they're like makeup gurus. So I found one. Her name is Makeup Shayla, and she's like me. She's um, I think she's in her 20s and she travels and she has this life that I know that girls like me are watching her and they're like, oh my gosh. So I go to her page. I go to, I'll just go back up to this picture. I'll click 
on one of her photos and click on her likers. And from there, I'll literally just sit for like five minutes a day and follow every single person that has liked her photo. So you can do that with anyone that's in your own niche. If it's a, a really, I don't know, a blogger that you love or whatever, you go to their actual photo. And again, don't just follow the people who follow them, follow the people who like them. Because those people are active, they're on Instagram, and that's who you want on your page. Then, um, Audrey mentioned in our last call that she uses Captivate, and I use this app as well. I click on that app, and you're able to unfollow the people who didn't follow you. So after you followed all these likers, you're gonna get some people who don't care about what we do, who don't wanna look at your page, and that's fine. Then you can go back and you can unfollow them and just start anew. So that will help you from, that will keep you from getting like a bunch of people that you follow. Like you don't want to follow 10,000 people. You'll never be able to connect with these people. So it'll keep down your actual followers and keep your page really clean. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so here's one of my favorite parts is when you get to reach out to the people who have liked your photo. So for me, this was a call to action that I think I did last week sometime and I posted my story and I invited people to it. And then after that, about like a day later, that next day in my power hour, I clicked on my likers. And I had 93 likes on this, which is pretty good for me. So I clicked on it and I went through and sent messages to every single person that liked that photo. I know you guys know to do this, but this, this group of people, they follow you, they like you, um, and they're taking the time to like your photo instead of scrolling. So that means they're that much closer to possibly joining you. So what I do is I send them a message. Um, it's right in Messenger. And I say something like, hey girl, thanks so much for liking my photo last night. That before picture was super hard for me to post, so I really appreciate it. Are you on a fitness journey too? And literally, I try to keep it super like how I speak because I think it's important to make it friendly. And from that, you'll get people who will definitely return the message to you. Um, just for a little tip, I do post these types of posts, like the transformation pictures, always around 9 p.m., just because that's like a prime time for me. Um, and it's good for both, both coasts. So the East Coast and the West Coast, 9 p.m. is like a really good time that people are on Instagram. So after I send that message, you're gonna get someone who's gonna say yes, I am, I'm on a fitness journey and if they really are open and you've been sharing and you've been talking about yourself and being vulnerable, they're probably gonna give you even more info. So I know you guys have probably had someone who's like pouring their heart out like, yeah, and I need to do this and I'm struggling with this and this happened, so that's good. But from this point, you have one sole purpose. That is to bring them over to Facebook. Now, a lot of people don't like to do this. Some people like to use Instagram only. But for me, Instagram is kind of hard to connect with. I mean, people don't check it all the time. It's like not the easiest to have a conversation in. So I bring them right over to Facebook right away. So um, I'll send something like, that's so cool that you work out too. Um, I love to see other women taking care of themselves. I really think more of us need to do that. We should connect on Facebook too. I share a bunch of tips and tricks and videos there. So search me, my name is Imani Busby. They'll go on and a lot of people will go and find me like right then and there. And yeah, they go ahead and now you can continue that conversation on Facebook. If they don't answer me, cause it is like Facebook, sometimes people will ignore your message. You can just send something like, hey girl, I wanna make sure I didn't miss, miss your, your friend request. What's your name on, on Facebook? Just so I can find you or just so I'll look out for you. 
and they'll be like, oh my God, I forgot to send the message. I'll send it now. So um, yeah, so this always, it really does work. It's kind of foolproof. And if people love you on Instagram, they're gonna love you on Facebook too. So after that, now you have your person over on Facebook. You can talk to them, it's so much easier. And now you can use everything that we talked about last week if you were on the call. Audrey got like super deep nitty gritty into inviting and building relationships. And this is where you do it. So you can flirt with this person now. Um, you can like all their pictures of their family. You can go through and comment on things that they posted. You can form them and get like really um, show that you're interested. Like for me, I'll ask them, hey, like, what are you studying in school? What do you want to do? And that's kind of where we like fangirl each other and get really excited. Um, and then, of course, they're going to ask you about your story as well. So that's where you get a chance to share what you're doing and invite them as well. So that is how I build relationships. Of course, from there, you can take it. And of course, you're gonna send some type of invite to this person for either a free group or challenge group. But um, that's really it, that's all that I do. So do you guys have any questions? I'm gonna check the chat box because I didn't get to check it. Dumb question, direct message. Yes, Rosie, that's a, I always send a direct message. Am I for president? <laughs> Uh, I hope this helped, guys. It really is simple. It's so easy, and I don't know. I feel like we all can super, we can build our businesses just with Instagram. Hey, Mani. Hey. So, literally, I was counting the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And you did not fail. I definitely love it. I have one little question. Mm -hmm. Um. I follow people like Emily Skye and Betty Crocker or whatever her name is because I noticed that everybody, guys and girls, um, in my neighborhood follow her or those two girls. So I figure out here in South Jersey, they must be popular for some reason. Um, but as far as um, fitness people, I definitely don't follow fit, uh, beach body people, but how about fitness people? Like, do you feel like that's too saturated? Go a little bit deeper or do you get any traction with fitness people? So you mean for like taking their followers and bringing them over to your page? Yeah. And like flirting with them, following them. It's hard with Instagram because you do find a lot of people who are overseas. Um, a lot of people who we can't help right now because Beachbody is just not there yet. So that's one reason why I stay away from those like huge accounts. You want someone that's kind of more definitely in the U.S. Um, and someone that's more like not as popular. Yeah. So that you can take those people and you know that they're here um, and they're real. That's such a great point because I do have a lot of all of a sudden like Germany is like all over me. Yep. In Canada. <laughs> yep. But Canada, we could help. But okay. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and you're sharing this PowerPoint, right? Yeah, sure. I'll share. Okay. Any other questions? Imani, can you stop your screen share, please? Sure. Let's see. That was a great job. Um, I want to add, guys, that like how Imani said about your Instagrams like your grid let it be beautiful let it be beautiful like I don't even have elite coach on my profile because nobody outside of Beachbody knows what that is yeah I I describe like who I am um and also like you have to have a look to your Instagram be consistent with what you post like it has to all flow together because that gives you that gives you more appeal as as you know, like a professional. If you have pictures and pic stuff that looks like all over the place, then people are going to see you're an amateur and you're a professional. So you have to approach your social media that way. And one last thing I want to say is that if you guys see something from somebody else that you like, another coach or whatever, don't just copy it, make it your own. Put it within your style. So if you guys always see like the quotes that I put out, they're always in the same format. 
because you have to think about your branding too. You want people to see things and know that it comes from you. Like someone else that does a great job with that is Jake. Like Jake's pictures, like the lighting is always the same in all of his pictures. Sometimes on, I look through my feed and I know when it's one of Jake's pictures already because I recognize the style. And that's, it's okay if you're not there yet. Like it takes time to develop. So true. Good and one, one more thing, do not put hashtags in your caption unless you're using it like on purpose. Like I just hashtag Maybelline because I'm describing a lipstick that I'm wearing, but that was on purpose. But don't put like those 30 hashtags in your caption. You put them in a comment below your Instagram post. Why? Because that just looks like you're purposely salesy. Yeah, it, it's yeah, tacky. It's tacky. Oh, just the appearance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a way to do it. You can bring your hashtags over to like notes on your phone. And then you want to make five dots, five periods, like one below each other. And five is like a good number. And then start making your hashtags so that no one can see them unless they like click to comment. So it's five dots and then your hashtags. I have, I have a question. Sorry. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. um, the pictures, right? How do I um, select the, what do I, I mean, I'm just a little bit lost. Like how do I select the pictures on the grid, like the nine pictures or whatever. So if somebody wants to see, I kind of got lost a little bit there. Like how do I, I mean, I could figure out which ones to select, but where do I go exactly to uh, make sure, you know, to, so I can select the picture. So when somebody wants to go see it, or are you talking about when they go to my Instagram, are they looking at the last nine pictures that I posted or? Yeah. Is that yeah, what Unfortunately, you, you can't select them. Okay. So okay. that's what makes it hard. You kind of have to, like some people use apps. Like I think someone mentioned the VSO, VSCO, where okay. you can kind of like play with it before you post it. So you can see what it will look like. I don't do that because that just takes a lot of time. So I... I just make sure that I know like what I had before. So if I posted a picture of Shakeology like an hour ago, I'm not going to post another picture of Shakeology or like another type of cup. I'll yeah. change it to like my face or something like that. Yeah. Okay. And this is a larger discussion. Next month we're going to do a call on branding, but you know, typically there, sh there should be about five things that you're always posting about. So your audience knows what to expect from you. So like Imani says, there's a balance. Like sometimes, like I will love a quote, but I can't post another quote because my last post was a quote or my post before that was a quote. So I'm like, okay, now I need to do something with my kids, you know? So you want to break it up. Yeah, that's something that I'm actually been looking at. I've been learning. I've been like, uh, been doing like two pictures and then a quote and something like that. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to get better at it, but it's kind of like uh, everybody has to kind of get their own way so that's what i've been doing awesome also test out test out your posts and see what what are the posts that people are liking the most and what are they not liking really and for the most part the ones that they're not going to like that much are the call to actions which is when you're like inviting to a challenge group or whatever and that often is because a lot of times we're tempted to use like words in the pictures and i mean that's like a, a hit or miss but yeah. I feel like sometimes you may get a better outcome if you have just a picture and your call to action is just in the words of the post rather than like putting it on the picture. Does that make sense? You I mean, mean putting, putting words on the actual picture? Because that's like, I was uh, actually doing that, putting words on the actual picture. You, you're saying not to do that? Oh, I'm saying if it's working for you, do it. But I'm saying sometimes... I know for me that doesn't work. Like people, I'll get, I won't get a lot of likes on pictures with words on them. Um, but like whatever you were intentionally posting in the picture, like post it in the comment section or something like that, like in the caption. Um, but like what I'm trying to say is just to test out your post, see what's working, what's not. If something's not working, don't continue to post like the same type of thing because it's kind of like obviously your followers don't like that. Um, and you want to cater to your followers and what they, what they want. Um, so, yeah. 
Also guys, if you have a like page and it's linked to your Instagram profile, you can turn your Instagram profile into a business page. And if you do that, you can check out your insights on Instagram. So if you're on your profile and you click up here in the upper right hand corner, you can see like your statistics. So it'll tell you like in the last week, what were the posts that were like? And that'll tell you who your audience is. So I can look at the bottom over here and it'll tell me like, when do I get the most likes? So if I'm posting something that I like a call to action, I want to make sure I'll post it at the peak time. You could share your, your screen, Audrey, from your phone. I don't know how to do that yet. So <laughs> just click share and click iPhone, iPad. Share where? <laughs> on your Zoom. On your Zoom. Dude, that is so cool. And click on iPhone, iPad, and then follow the instructions really quick. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting fancy. <laughs> I have a question. Do the AirPlay. It, it follows the instruction and then you will be able to see your screen. AirPlay on my phone? On your phone, yeah. Do the little scroll up. From the bottom up. Did someone have a question? While yeah, me, Olga. <laughs> go ahead, Olga. There you I go. have a question. Um, yeah. I have a problem. I have, right now, I have... A somewhat a lot of followers not that many as much as I would but the problem is they I have the same followers liking same followers liking the pictures you know what I mean like mm -hmm. I always have the same people liking my pictures so how do I so you were referring to the hashtag so you said don't use them on next to the picture do it do the five dots and then put the hashtags on the bottom yeah if you're getting I don't know how this works for everyone, but for me, the hashtags aren't my number one way to get people. You have to go and, fi and find those people. So I am following more people every single day. You, if you actually like click and click follow, 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 I mm -hmm. do that until Instagram is like, okay, you can't follow anymore, that's enough. And I think they do it like every hour, they let you go back and follow like 50 more people or whatever the cap is. Um, but that's how you'll get more people liking your photos and kind of a variety. The hashtags are kind of just like, they work, but they're like a second way. I would definitely rely on going out and finding people first. Or Olga, another thing like what I do also is that I find stuff that I love. So if I shop at Nordstrom Rack, I will go there and try and find people or like my favorite singers. <laughs> Or mm -hmm. my favorite car, like I love Mercedes Benz. I will go there and and I do a quick look. What, Jake? Why are you laughing at me? I'll do a quick look just to make sure um they're here in the states or Canada because that's where we could go to. And then I just start liking those people. It takes a little work, but at least you're targeting people that are just like you. I have a problem. The thing is that I have a lot of people from Dominican Republic. That's because that's what you were who you're speaking to lately. Yeah, and also like my, all my like all my followers are like, I'm trying to get into more of like the mom side of the Instagram because the problem is I have a lot of like people who travel, a lot of my <coughs> friends and stuff. So it's really hard for me to like. They always like my. Um, I always get the same likes from like family, um, friends. You know, my mom's friends. So it's kind of hard for me to like. I've been trying to get out of that. Um, niche out of that market well you you just started so it's you know it takes time to build it takes a lot of time so just keep at it and find moms that you want to follow that are influential like when i started i was like looking up jimbery baby gap and things like that and following those people okay but um so you guys can see my screen right yeah okay so over here is insights and then these are my top liked pictures. So I know people love looking at pictures of me. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did that like three days ago. I, I, what I do is I switch it back to personal and then switch it back to the normal one. So just so I know what you said to know which are your. Exactly. So like tonight, the best time for me to have posted a call to action would have been right before nine. 
because that's where most of my followers are. And if I come over here, it tells me exactly who follows me and where they're from. So I know that I'm speaking to mostly women between the ages of 25 and 34, or 35 to 44. So that way it helps me really target my ads. Also, with Facebook-like stuff is a whole other topic, but you guys get the gist. I have a quick question. Um, do you share from Instagram to Facebook? Because that's what I have been doing. I mean, that's the only thing I've been doing. I didn't realize there were direct messages. This is why I've been so lost. I didn't know I could direct message people. But um, I always have been posting on Instagram and then automatically sharing it to no, Facebook. don't do that. Okay. Don't do that because Facebook likes things to be organic within Facebook. And even though Facebook owns Instagram, it'll give less priority in its news feed if you're sharing from Instagram Ooh, to Facebook. That's a big deal. Okay. And then are you all posting exactly the same things on your Instagram and your Facebook or is there any variety or difference? Um, well, the videos, like the videos that you share to break things up or like, you know, like random things about what you're doing. During, yeah, like Jake said, it depends on you. Wait, so you, but I see sometimes that you post from your Insta, so you're saying that if you post from your Instagram, make sure you do like a copy paste, not directly from Instagram? Exactly. Okay. Oh, because it like kind of blocks it out because it's from Instagram. Yeah, I mean, it looks different. Facebook gives it less priority. Okay. Good to know. I didn't know I would I would do that. So I now I know just do a new post and post it normally from Facebook. Okay. All right. So do you guys have any other questions? Um, so from your like page, can you um, share to your regular Facebook page? I think that would be okay. The huh? post that you put the post that you put on your like page can be shared on your regular page for Facebook. I do the same thing. Yeah. I do the same thing everywhere. Just making sure that it's not being blocked. <laughs> yeah. I do the same thing everywhere. Um, that's it. Imani, do you want to add anything? No, I think that's it. I, I will say that Instagram is going to take some time. So if you're not there yet, be patient with it. It's going to take a little bit to find out what you like and what your followers like and your colors and all that fun stuff. Um, but you guys got this. So And also for inviting, if you guys are on your Instagram stories, which you should be, check out who watches you every day. Mm -hmm. Who are those people that are always on your story? They're your biggest fans. Can I ask one last question? Um, so, like, you know how you were talking about the branding? Mm -hmm. um, so I, for a while, for a couple of months, I basically picked a quote the night before and I would post it like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whenever I woke up in my quote, in my colors. Yeah. Um, but then I guess for me, it kind of turned out where when I looked at my feed, it was like, it would sometimes even end up next to each other or maybe just like four paces above. So like right now, this is, I'm trying to go back and see it. Um, but like, so like yours, are, oh, okay, this is perfect. I don't know if you can see, but you kind of see the same color. You see that blue, blue. So like <coughs> that to me, it started kind of looking like a too much, like, is that too much, right? Well then if you don't like it, cause you gotta love it. Like I look at my Instagram yeah. and I'm like, I love this. <laughs> yeah. Like see, then, I'm like looking. Yeah. Okay. Gone. Sorry. Yeah. You need to then change your colors. If well, I love my colors. It was just like, is it too wordy? You know, it depends like, on you. Do you, do you like it? Do you like what you see? Hmm. Ask some people, like, how do you feel when you look at my, Jake looks like has an opinion. I know I had a problem with that um, <laughs> because I am not, I'm organized on, on some things and some things I'm not. But when I used to see my pictures, I didn't like my quotes all over the place. So if you look at my Instagram, every five picture, I'll put, a quote or yep. so I, I know that every five picture and basically what I did for the past because if somebody wants to be stalking me or you know being nosy and they want to go <laughs> further um 
I just started deleting stuff because it was bothering me and I just got to make myself happy first and then take it from there. So I kept it like that because uh, sometimes I have two workouts in my 12, but I don't care because that's, I, I, I never put them together, but there, there could be two in the 12. But um, I try just to break it up with the five quotes. Yeah, find something that works for you. I have a question. Is the Luminous page back on? Yeah. yeah. Imani posted the, I mean, Imani, Darlene posted the password. Um, okay, because sometimes I don't get the, I don't know if it's my Facebook or what, but I sometimes when you guys post something, I'll get it like a day later or something like that. It's kind of annoying in my Facebook. Okay, yeah, I have a, sorry, I have another question. When you screenshot something on somebody's stuff, like I just screenshotted um, the three of you, uh, Audrey, Jake, and Imani stuff, do you guys, can you tell? Yes, you can share. They in Instagram sends the person like somebody screenshot your picture of a. I thought that was true. Really? <laughs> on yes. Instagram? I know on Snapchat. No, on Instagram. That's a new thing. Like if you screenshot, if you screenshot like somebody's picture, Instagram uh, sends them a picture telling that you screened their screenshot their picture. Hold on, okay. Audrey. You might, I'm not. No, that's not how it Huh? I'm gonna screenshot somebody. I'm screenshotting all of you. EC said no. Said, yeah. yeah, Olga, I think you 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 you're getting the message from Instagram that you screenshotted them, and it's telling you like you can direct message it to somebody, or oh, you can do this, or you can do that. But it it doesn't tell them; it just tells you. Oh, okay. Just yeah, no, no, no. Like it's like I've had like when you go to Instagram, like it's happened to me before because sometimes I like to take pictures of like houses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it says that um, you can share it. I know what you mean. But they get a message saying somebody screenshot your... I even Googled it because I thought it was ridiculous. But it, it is like a thing. Like if well, you screen um, somebody's I picture. just did Audrey. Well, Audrey, did I just screenshotted your um, story and your page. <laughs> nice yeah, some, yeah. I haven't gotten anything. You haven't gotten anything? Well... But you know what? I think that maybe there's an app for that because... Um, for some reason, when I've done that, which I try not to do, um, then I get blocked from that person. So maybe there's an app that tells, tells them. Mm. So yeah, mm. I've been blocked, people. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm asking because, you know, from my brand, from my quote, I actually saw my exact, I know it's mine, because it was exact my colors and my words i actually just resaw it i saw it on a guy's post like on the guy random guy who follows me page like, just watercolor your wording watercolor your wording no i was totally flattered i don't i don't you know it was it was something really motivational oh it was i didn't come this far just to come this far it was like a beach body quote but so you know promoted I mean, you basically yeah i thought it was super but like he didn't share my thing he just like, that's why I was curious, like the screenshot thing. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but I, want, uh, I like to do my watermark on my things. Yeah. Hey, Darlene. As a branding thing, you know, so they just know that it's your brand and it's not theirs. Because they might get a million likes and then you might just get one from that same picture. And they might not know it's not coming from you. Yeah. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, most of them have my name on it, but. What is that? Water what? Yes. Watermark it. Watermarking. Put your logo or your username on it, on the picture. Yeah. Oh, I do that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Darlene. Yes. Jen. Did you fix my name? No. Darlene, I'm tired of hearing you ask you for this. <laughs> I always know it's coming because I hear you know, her. Hey. Hey. That's you're going to get in trouble, voice. Imani, you're amazing. Thank you so much for the call. Audrey, thank you for, for hosting this call. Next week, it's going to be Heather talking about recruiting just in time for Team Cup and for our Coach Open House. I'm having a hard time with that. All right, so be here at 9 o'clock next Tuesday. Okay. All right, guys, I'll post the recording as soon as it's up. Have a good night. Thank you, Imani.